Hey Rockridge, it's Coach Lentz again um, for your daily at-home PE video. Um, today's activity is going to be fitness-based. Um, this is something that we did earlier in the year. Um, we did a little circuit. Um, we called it FMTs or functional muscle training. We had those uh, resistance bands and uh, we got after it. But we don't have that stuff now, so we're going to get a little creative here. So what you need for this activity is you need yourself a piece of paper and a pen for right now. So if you need to, uh, pause this video for a moment and go get yourself paper and a pen. Alright, so once you've got that stuff, what you, what you need to do next is draw a circle, like so. Now I made mine into eight different sections. You can make yours into four different sections, two different sections, six, it's up to you. Um, what you're going to do, though, is you're going to create your own workout at home, and I'm going to do mine uh, with you. So you can do this exactly what I'm doing, or you can change these for whatever you want to do, okay? So I'm going to hit pause here, and I'm going to come up with my uh, exercises, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I came up with my eight exercises, and again, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Um, I don't know what kind of... Um, space or equipment you might have at home. So I have a stationary bike right over here. Not not these back here, those are real bikes, but stationary bike over here. I've got a punching bag behind me and I've got um, kind of a pull-up situation over here and I have a workout bench right in front of me, okay? So I'm going to share with you my kind of exercise pie chart here. So um, I know this is going to be backwards for you guys, so I'll just, I completed it. <laughs> Let me read it to you. So I've got push-ups, bike, wall sit, curl-ups. Remember, those are with our hands at our sides, and we touch the backs of our, of our shoes or our feet. Excuse me. Um, Leg-ups. Um, if I do those, they're on a pull-up, and you are hanging, and you bring your knees to your chest, or you take your... Your legs, these are my legs here, you go straight out and back. So I'll kind of mix those up. Decline push-ups, so that's why I have my bench out what I'm sitting on right now. So I'd put my feet on the bench here, and my, my hands would be on the floor for a push-up. And then I have a plank and a punching bag, which I have behind me. So um, I have these two numbers up top here, 12 and 20, all right? So... What this is going to look like is um, you're also going to need like a golf tee or a pen. I have a paintbrush or a coin. Okay, You're going to pick one of these items. This is only to help you select what you're doing each round if this makes sense. So to make this really simple here, I have my tee and let's pretend this is flat on like a surface. Okay, So I would drop my tee. And I would decide this is the end that's going to tell me what I have to do. So if my T lands here, that is bike for 30 seconds. Now some of these, I put limits on them like time because like biking 30 seconds, wall sit 30 seconds, or plank 30 seconds, it's already set for me. These numbers up here, I'm going to alternate the number of reps or how many times I do something. So I have a smaller one to kind of give myself a little bit of a break. And I have a bigger one, 20, and then this is 12. So if I rolled the, or tossed my, my, um, my golf tee here and it landed on push-ups, the first, that's my first roll, I'm doing 12 push-ups. So then after I get done, I toss this up again. Let's say it lands on curl-ups, I'm doing 20 curl-ups. You alternate back and forth, small number, big number. And I'm going to put a time limit on this. I'm going to do this for 15 minutes. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I would encourage you to do the same, but if this is too much, um, you can go 10 minutes, you can go 5 minutes, just keep moving, okay? Um, with the coin, the intent was to spin the coin, and wherever it stopped, that's what you would do. Same thing with the pen, you just spin it, wherever it stops, that's what you do, and paintbrush, just, I'm pulling out items that you could use as a spinner, okay? Um, yeah, so that's our, our daily activity today is kind of a create your own workout at home. Um, feel free if you want to. 
you can share this with me. Um, you know how to get a hold of me as far as email on Twitter and through our Google Classroom as well. And uh, stay, stay, um, stay healthy and stay active. Miss you guys. Okay, uh, to show you kind of what this looks like, I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to go for two minutes. I don't think you guys want to watch me work out for 15 minutes. It'd be boring. So I'm going to set a timer on my phone here. Timer. Two minutes. Now I'm not going to go just for two minutes. When this goes off, I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to go for a total of 15. But again, I don't think you guys want to watch me work out for 15 minutes. So I've got my paper. I'm going to set it down on this table next to me. I will shout out to you what I got going on as far as what I'm doing. And let me get up off my keister here. Um, I am doing this barefoot, so I would recommend maybe putting shoes on if uh, if you're so inclined. So here we go. I'm going to use my golf tee. I'm actually going to alternate. I'm going to go golf tee, then I'm going to spin my penny, and then I'm going to do a pen. So golf tee first. I guess I should start my timer after, after I... Uh-oh. Golf tee. All right. I got to waltz it for 30 seconds. All right. I'm going to be... I'll go right here. Maybe you guys will turn... I'm going to go against my washer and dryer right here, so you guys can see me. Here we go. Wall sitting. 30 seconds. Oh, moved it. You know, if you're wall sitting, put your hands up here, out front, at your sides. Don't rest your hands on your legs because it's kind of cheating, so don't do that. Don't do that. I got five, four, three, two, one. Ugh. Next roll. Let's see what I got here. I'm going to do my penny. Here we go, Mr. Penny. I've got punching bag. So this is my first one that has a number. So I'm going to do my, my small one first. So 12 punches on my punching bag. So here we go. I'm going to go pin and spin it. I've got curl ups. I've got 20 because I went from my small number to my big number. So 20 curl ups. Here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 20. Back to my golf tee. I got 30 seconds left. Let's see. Uh, bike for 30 seconds. So I'm going to stop the video here and uh, go bike for 30 seconds. But uh, I'm going to go for 15 minutes. Um, good luck, guys. And uh, keep cruising. We'll see you later. Bye.